In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I would recommend you defend the Trips tight end both in Madden 21, but this will also work really, really well in Madden 22. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button. We basically share how you can become a better Madden player, both on offense and defense. So if you want to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button. Madden 22 is just around the corner, and I just released my big nickel over G early uh, early uh, preseason Madden 22 defensive guide. So if you want to get it, it's basically based out of Madden 21, but it's using concepts that are going to work in Madden 22. Um, so if you want to get the full defensive ebook, it's going to be down in the description. I go into a ton of detail on how to use match defenses as well as zone drop defenses as well as pressure defenses, the best run defenses in the game, and really give you a lot of tools in your toolkit to be able to shut down the best offenses in Madden 21 and ultimately going to be the best offenses in Madden 22. Now, what I want to do in this video is I want to show you how I would recommend defending trips tight end with a base match coverage. And basically what I like to do is I actually like to go ahead and put my ball in there, defense to play ball, my auto alignment to base align, and my option defense is going to be on conservative. The reason I like to take this approach when defending trips tight end is I feel like it's the most consistent to help you defend the deep crossing routes. Now, what we're going to be doing is you're going to see I've put the slot cornerback package on in the big nickel over G defense. I'm going to go ahead and sub in my linebackers at or safeties at the linebacker position. And the defense that we're going to be going over, as you can see at the bottom left there, slot cornerback package is really important. It's going to give you better adjustments. But we're going to use the cover four quarters. Now, on offense, I'm going to move the ball to the other, other side hash mark. And what we're going to do is we're going to share with you just basically a very, very, very basic, uh, very simple defense that is going to be very, very effective for stopping the, the, the trip side in. Now, I 100% guarantee you that in next year's game, you're going to see a lot of send two or send three. That, to me, is going to be the meta. So at a big nickel over G, it's no different. Now, obviously, the cool part about big nickel over G is when you really want to gas them up, when you want to send some pressure, you certainly can. And we show you how to do that in the defensive guide. But what we're going to do is our base front is we're just going to show blitz. We're going to pinch our defensive line and crash our defensive line out. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this linebacker right here, and I'm going to kind of hide behind the defensive end. This is going to allow me to do pretty decent at shutting down the run. The formation itself, the formation itself shuts down the run fairly well anyway. Um, but let me just show you. Let me talk about quick quick base for just a moment. Um, I talked a lot more about how to how to really slow this down. I'm just trying to kind of get this out. But you'll see here that you know quick base is tough. Um, it's I think it's the best shotgun around the game. The, the quick base in general this year. Next year, I don't think it's going to be as good because you can't do some of the stop and go stuff that you're able to do in this year's game. But basically, you really want to get kind of like right over in this area uh, in the middle of the field, and then you're just going to run straight down and get instant hit sticks. Now, nine times out of 10, you're going to get an instant hit stick. Sometimes I will say that occasionally, if you if they do ID the mic and stuff, you can get picked up. Another little way that you can stop this is if you don't pinch your defensive line, you're going to see that the defense itself is going to kind of stop this run. So that's just another tool that you can have in your arsenal uh, for defending this. But real quick, I want to show you one last time. So again, we're just showing blitz, pinching our line, crashing it out. Uh, and then we're just going to kind of hover. And really, we want to be a little bit more to the left, specifically for quick base. But basically, we're just running straight down and blowing up the run. Okay? So, all in all, quick base is not really the, the most sound run. What I like about this is because this safety comes down in the box right here, what we can also do is if you want to, you could actually bring this safety kind of over in that little pocket right there. That's going to help you out a lot as well, just kind of some basic adjustments. Um, from a front perspective because you're gonna have an additional advantage when they if they do get past your user you can just you can just um, click the right joystick in and you'll play pretty good run defense but all in all I think this is a fairly decent way to stop quick base again if you slowly run in you don't want to like the one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to run yourself into the block so that's kind of the thing uh, quick base like I said it's a good run and I can't say that it's not I mean I run it myself but basically you're gonna go down to the right, then you're gonna kind of come in here just like so. And um, of course we're failing massively at stopping this run. But I promise you're gonna be able to stop this run if you use the defense. It, it's very um, it's very finicky in practice mode, but you literally you're just coming right up the middle. Of course we're not able to, the computer is like, the computer running back has like laser 2020 vision apparently. But like what people are gonna do is they're gonna stop and go in the backfield. And it's just, the more off you are, 
um, the bet that's what you're getting okay so the more off you stand and if you don't hit turbo when you run down the middle um, it's gonna basically screw up the targeting of the offensive line and they're not gonna target you it's actually probably honestly a little bit better if we go ahead and set up the rest of the play so that you can see that they're not gonna target you um, it's actually better run defense if you only blitz two people than if you blitz four at a big nickel because they, they're not gonna target you when you only blitz two they're just gonna double team the guys that are already blitzing so Anyways, the rest of the adjustments are very simple. All we're going to do is we're going to bluff blitz the defensive end on the right side of the screen. We're going to drop the circle player, uh, the defensive end on the right side of the screen. We're going to drop him into a curl flat. So defensive end on the left goes in a bluff blitz. Defensive end on the right goes into a curl flat. And then from there, you're simply going to man up the uh, linebacker on the outside receiver of the trips tight end. So that's the square receiver. Uh, you're going to find that this does really, really well against a lot of the cover uh, four quarters uh, type of beaters. Let me show you an example of a really good cover four quarters beater. This concept right here is no longer actually a, a possibility. You're going to see the defense plays it properly and they're able to get back on that ball really, really nicely. So uh, out routes are really honestly one of the glitchiest routes when it comes to uh, quarters coverage. When you do this adjustment right here, you're not going to struggle with that necessarily nowhere near as much as you were in the past. The other thing that I like about that cross manning of that player is you're going to see that when they run like post routes or deep dig routes or things like that out of like a PA counter go, you're going to get really nice uh, match coverage across the formation. Right there, Jair Alexander kind of glitched out, uh, but you're, you're normally going to be fine with that. He's going to cross man onto that player. Uh, the other thing that you can do, if you don't want to man up, like if you don't want to man up uh, square, and maybe you want to get an additional you know zone out of this what you can simply do is you could put both of your defensive linemen into like curl flat zone type stuff like this right here and then you could take triangle and man him up on the square receiver if you want to do something like that you can also do that adjustment the reason i like that adjustment it's a little bit better for like curl flat it's a little bit better for things like that the crop and you see you get to keep this three rec in the middle of the field and the crossing route right there you see kind of glitched this out but um, that's primarily because we took the quarter flat, both quarter flats off the field. So anyways, back to kind of the setup that I was trying to talk about. So again, if you're just going to do this, you've got that man coverage assignment. What I found is crossing routes and uh, Jair Alexander is kind of selling right now. But if you just watch this crosser, you see how they're going to match onto him. Now again, 91, that's going to be, um, that's going to be a, a linebacker in Mutt that's got 90 speed. The other thing that's going to happen is, for whatever reason, um, the better the zone coverage you have, uh, Jai Alexander just kind of doesn't play properly, and I, it really drives me kind of nuts. But basically, um, Jai Alexander is typically going to match onto that guy. If you want to, you can man him up. This cross man um, with a linebacker right there is really good for like the curl flat play. Um, you're going to see that, you know, again, yes, you have a window, but it's a tight window. And really your job as the user is to kind of help on stuff like that if, if you need to. But typically you're going to be fine. Now, the other, so basically your responsibility of the user is if you see a crossing route going from right to left. So like the, for the, like an example would be uh, the tight end crosser. If you see that, that's your, that's kind of your primary responsibility. So basically you're looking for crossers. Uh, if you see a tight end crosser, you're just going to kind of trail him, go with him a little bit. You'll see the match defense will typically help out on the right side and you'll cover the left side. So that's kind of how the, the defense is going to work. Now, again, um, this, for whatever reason, I don't know why, but um, my, my, my uh, guys aren't sticking with people like they're supposed to. Trust me, when you get on the game, these guys are going to stick with their assignments. They're not going to, they're, they're not going to have as many problems. Practice mode's a little finicky because this crosser to circle should not be beating him like he is. And that's, that's normally what's going to happen. You're going to see Jair Alexander is going to come back onto the crosser really, really nicely, which is really cool. Now, let me go over uh, another setup that you'll see, something like simple like this right here. This is a curl flat setup, kind of a meta setup. Um, so what you're going to see from the defense is basically you're going to see pretty daggone good coverage. So uh, snap of the ball, you're going to kind of sit in this area right here, and then you see that that circle route, so you're going to go get that. If you see a tight end, if the tight end goes vertical, basically, your job needs to shift to cover that crossing route. Another thing that I like to do out of this defense is basically you're going to see that we're going to man up here 
and then we're going to essentially be able to man up like the tight end with this line bin. And then what we can do is, or I would probably man up the running back, honestly. So I'd maybe do something like this. And then we could take this guy right here, and now we can cross man him onto circle. So this is kind of the coverage that we've created. This version of it, then you can use or this guy right here. And the reason I like being able to do that is uh, because number one, it, it kind of can bluff some pressure with this, but you're gonna see all in all, you're just gonna get back on the ball. And as you see, these crossers are pretty much bagged. Uh, the cool part about this is also gonna stop delay fades. It's gonna stop all of that stuff. So this is a pretty solid little base defense against the trips tight end. If you wanna learn more about how to defend trips, trips tight end or really any formation, in the guide we actually go over formation by formation, how to stop spread, how to stop bunch, how to stop bunch tight end, how to stop trips tight end, how to stop a slot. All of the meta, we basically have this defense built for it. So if you wanna learn exactly how to run this big nickel over G defense, in preparation for Madden 22, I'd encourage you to pick it up. It's just 15 bucks and you can get the whole defense in the description of this video.